New at 10, Washington-based watchdog group has filed a lawsuit seeking to block former President Donald Trump from appearing on the 2024 ballot in Colorado. Wait, they don't Brittany Harry is live tonight after speaking with Alabama Republican Party Chairman John Wall and a retired history and political science teacher about the lawsuit. Brittany. Well, Dana Nickel, that's right. The group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, or CREW, filed this lawsuit citing uh, the 14th Amendment and January 6th. The lawsuit claims former President Trump is ineligible to run for president again. Wayman Burke is a retired history and political science instructor. He compared this case to one out of New Mexico where the 14th Amendment was recently used to bar County Commissioner Coy Griffin from public office for his actions related to January 6th. It appears that the primary difference between former President Trump and the county commissioner in New Mexico who was disqualified is that the county commissioner had actually been convicted of a misdemeanor. Former President Trump at this point has not been convicted of anything, although he has over 90 charges against him in four jurisdictions. An issue Burke says could eventually be addressed by the U.S. Supreme Court. Meanwhile, Alabama Republican Party Chairman John Wall says he feels it's just another attempt to impact upcoming elections, a distraction too. But what I hear from Republican voters across the state is, why now? You know, it's been three years since, since these things happened. Why so many indictments all now once Trump is an announced candidate and is rising in the polls? There definitely is a feeling of distrust amongst the public that this is a political vendetta and the Democrat Party is using the, the court system and the, the indictments to actually try to hurt a political opponent. Now, the group who filed this lawsuit is asking the court to expedite the matter so it can be resolved before the state's primary ballot and that is set for January 5th of 2024. I'm reporting live in Limestone County tonight, Brittany Harry, Way 31 News.